Hello, hello, hello. Today is still Sunday, January 7, 2024. Here follows a somewhat more realistic solution to problem 188. And I will also give you some insight on how to rotate linearly polarized light by 90 degrees. Because that's what we have done in problem 188. Using Marlow's law, we found that I4 is 0.211 times I0. So we've rotated it by 90 degrees, and of course we pay a price for that. We end up only with 0.211 times I0. Now this raises the question, I would say interesting question, whether we would have gained by using many capital N polarizers so that the cosine square theta terms become very small. In other words, using Mahler's law, can we rotate linearly polarized light by 90 degrees where I n is still close to one half I zero? The answer is no, for the reason that the polarizing efficiency in one polarizer is about 95%. In other words, 5% is lost in each polarizer. 5% is absorbed. Thus, if unpolarized light goes through one polarizer, the light intensity I1 is not half I0, but half times 0.95 I0, which is 0.475 I0. Thus, after four polarizers, which is the case in problem 188, the light intensity I4 is not really approximately 0.21 I0, but it is approximately 0.17 I0. Let's now use 10 polarizers in succession. The polarization angle increases now nine times by 10 degrees. According to Marler's law, the light intensity I10 would be half cosine square of 10 degrees to the power nine times I0. And that is 0.38 times I0. However, 5% is lost in each polarizer. Thus, using 10 polarizers, the light intensity is not 0.38 times I0, but 0.38 times 0.95 to the power 10 times I0, and that is 0.023 times I0. Let's go to another more extreme case. We take 100 polarizers in a row. They will therefore reduce the light intensity by a factor of 0.95 to the power 100, which is about 0.6% of the Mahler's law intensity. In other words, you end up with nothing. Thus, you cannot rotate in an efficient way the E vector by 90 degrees by using many polarizers. Always remember, there is no such thing as a free lunch. 